What's going on guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to present you nine essential tweaks for any iOS 10 jailbroken device, being it 10.2, 10.1.1, 10.0.1, or you name it. So I'm going to start with the most useful tweak that I saw for iOS ever, and it's iProtect. Now I use this tweak in order to protect the Photos app and the Messages app, and I'm going to show you what it does. If I try to open uh, Photos, for example, I'm your friend, I took your phone, and I try to open Photos to to actually browse into your photos. You can see it asks me for my Touch ID. And before I introduce my Touch ID, nothing will happen. So um, yeah, I click cancel, the application won't start. The same thing with messages, which uh, of course ask for Touch ID or password. Or if I wanna Touch ID into the application, as you can see, it brings me back into the app with no problem. So pretty damn useful. And I'm going to show you its settings in here. T uh, the uh, Touch ID function is actually um, uh, is actually backed up with a password protection if you really need it. And uh, going to iProtect, before you can change anything, it will ask you for authentication. And I put some one, two, three, four code in here just to show you. And uh, this application, you must know, it's a trial, 10 days left. So um, then you need to buy the application, the full version of the app, you need to register it. But you can try it for free, three, uh, sorry, 10 days, and it's enough in order to love it. I tried it a couple of minutes and I already love it, so um, yeah. And uh, the next one in line we're going to use is Movable 9. Now, Movable 9, what it does, this application, is... Um, Tweaking a little bit the status bar, and I'm going to show you. Going in here, it's only a um, uh, setting uh, window, and you have these. After you enable it, you go to sort order, and you can see that the uh, normal order of the items on the status bar are the airplane, the carrier uh, signal dots, the Wi-Fi, clock, uh, percentage of the battery, battery, and uh, power mode if you have one. And for example, if I want to uh, get the airplane mode and move it to the right, I can do so, and as you can see now, the airplane mode is now on the right of the screen, and the carrier itself can be um, the same, or I can get the battery and put it on the left, so in a total different um, order. You can do so with a lot of the components in here, you can see you have quite a few, you have 99 different components, so um, you can uh, add spacers, you can move um, uh, carrier, you can move the time, the battery percentage and so on. So it's pretty damn cool. If you want to try this out, it's definitely a great tweak. So uh, yeah, make sure you do not do what I did. If you uh, disable the tweak while it's already running, you will have quite a few problems. So make sure you uh, reset the order before you um, before you, you disable the, uh, the tweak. So um, that would be one of it. Let's continue with Preference Organizer. You probably uh, see that on my settings in here, I have them quite a few, not all of them that you have normally, because this tweak, Preference Organizer 2, organize, organizes them in system apps, social networking apps like Twitter, Facebook, whatever, tweaks, and all my tweaks are grouped in here so that I can easily find them, apps from the App Store and Wallet and Apple Pay. And then you have your normal settings. There is also a tweak to uh, disable that setting bar, but I definitely use it, so I decided to keep it. But as you can see, Preference Organizer 2, it actually uh, gives you this slick user interface to work with. So we're going to continue with um, Y Carrier. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this for the moment because um, QuickTime is actually changing the carrier name or anything else with that dot. As you can see, I am on airplane mode, but I still have signal dots and that's impossible. That's an effect from um, QuickTime. Also, the clock that is stuck on 941. But what this tweak is doing, Y Carrier, is changing the uh, name of the carrier. For example, your SIM card is from Verizon or from AT&T, Vodafone, and so on. Instead of Vodafone, Verizon, Orange, French, or something like this, it will simply write the name of your uh, Wi-Fi network. For example, if my Wi-Fi network is Kitten, it will say Kitten instead of the, the uh, normal carrier, which is pretty neat. I'm really sorry I cannot show you this for the moment. So um, we're going to continue with DZ folders. And if you go in here, I have quite a few folders. You can see it brings you an animation to the folder. It has a bouncy uh, animation to it. I'm going to show you. And it's pretty damn cool. You can configure that in here on the tweaks. You have it uh, DZ folders. 
and you can enable it and choose between three different type of animations. The first one that I'm showing you is spiral animation, but you can choose speed animation or zoom animation as well. Make sure you don't select two of them at the same time. You must disable the one you're using and then activate another one. Then you need to respring. Every time you need to respring before uh, putting in effect that thing. And uh, we're going to continue with Hortus. Now uh, Hortus I'm going to show you in here create this uh, setting in here, you can go ahead to enable it and then select uh, quite a few uh, animation things, mass, damping, stiffness, uh, velocity and so on, have quite a few settings in here, make sure you enable it and then what it does, when you open an application you see that little bumping in the background, you can see when I'm closing the app, it's a little bit of uh, effect of a bumping with all the apps, it's pretty cool, you can, um, as I said, you can fiddle with the controls and make it faster or slower, depending on what's your preference. And uh, let's continue with Swipe Home, another one that is pretty damn useful, and um, what it does after you install it, for example, I go here into the application switcher, you can see I have quite a few of them uh, activated, and instead of going and swiping through all of them to kill them, I can simply kill the home screen card and it will kill instantly all open applications, like this. There you go. Now everything is killed, I don't have any other apps. Um, if you do it again, it will ask you if you have to, uh, to respring, if you want to respring, and you can confirm or cancel. Now the respring option only appears if you're trying to swipe on the card, but there are no applications open. So it's pretty neat, pretty damn useful application. So. Um, yeah, the next one that I'm going to present you is Day Night Switch. Day Night Switch, if I go in here, is a very great tweak that, as you can see, changes the uh, toggle, the on and off toggle, with a moon or the sun in a cloud on the sky if it's enabled. So this is for enabled, this is for disabled. Pretty damn cool tweak. You can enable it or enable it globally. And it says that switching this on will change all switches to show the day night switch instead of just do not disturb one. And you can see in here you need to respring in order to put it in effect, but this is what it does, this simple tweak. It changes it on and off toggle with this pretty cool thing. So uh, it's pretty much very good. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is um, NT Speed. And NT Speed is a uh, tweak, pretty useful one, you can find it in Cydia like here, and it pretty much shows that little numbers in here, you see 29, 280, 103, we're gonna go to something that requires internet connection, like this um, Safari web page, and by the way the wallpaper is from here, this is how I get my blurred wallpapers, I simply search on Google iPhone 6 blurred wallpaper, and it gives you that um, that connection speed. You can see I go back in here and you can see it changes. Every time your device tries to connect to to the internet it will change and will show you the download speed of your device, the network speed. So it's pretty cool and it disappears when the um, the internet is no longer in use. Pretty cool, you can download it for free in Cydia. Well, some of the tweaks from here require a repository, so I'm going to link the repositories down in the description below. And I really hope you liked my uh, 9 essential tweaks for iOS 10 jailbroken devices. And yeah, I really hope you will find them useful, at least the I protect in Swipe Home. And uh, yeah, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up if you like it, if you don't give it a thumb down, tell me in the comment section down below what you think about the tweaks or what's your favorite from this list, or if you have any recommendation, and I'm going to catch you up in the next video. Peace out!